Hello there royal fans, welcome back to the channel, I'm your host Sheldon Moon and today's headline. Prince Harry, Meghan Markle received crucial warning after being in the US for 7 months. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have been in the US for 7 months after their bombshell royal exit. However, a royal author believes that Prince Harry may be forced to head back to the UK with or without Meghan Markle and their 1 year old son Archie due to his British citizen status. Ingrid Stewart of Majesty Magazine believes that he would be in the Duke of Sussex's best interest to head back home to the UK or he will be facing a massive tax bill in the US. Speaking to the Daily Star Online, Stewart said, I was wondering actually whether Prince Harry would come over for Christmas. He might well do because if Meghan is going to pursue this court case, it would be a good idea to be here. The Duchess of Sussex has a scheduled trial for her case against the Associated Newspapers after suing them for publishing excerpts of the letters she wrote her dad in 2018. Prince Harry will also have to come back at some point regardless of the case because of his tax situation. Since Prince Harry isn't an American citizen, she would believe he will be clobbered with a massive chunks of tax which he surely wouldn't want. Another royal expert believes that if the Duke would be spending more than 183 days in the US, he would then be considered a resident of California and would be subject to tax. David McClure told The Telegraph, California is a high tax state and he is highly likely to get a hit. I don't think Harry and Meghan have totally thought through the financial consequences of their exit from the royal family. It is still unknown if Prince Harry and Meghan Markle would be spending their Christmas in the US or the UK due to the ongoing coronavirus pandemic. Several reports cited that 36 year old dad may be willing to spend Christmas with his surrogate dad David Foster and his wife Catherine McPhee. McPhee has been a long time friend of the former suit star while the Duke has been friends with Foster. Foster, a 70 year old music producer, helped the Sussexes build their new lives in the US. If Prince Harry and Meghan were missing this year's Christmas in the UK, this would mark their second time not celebrating the royal family's festivities. Meanwhile, Prince Harry has reportedly put cash before royal duty when he signed the deal with Netflix. The Sun's editor-in-chief Dan Wooten believes that the Duke has now sold his right to commercialise in the royal family and his mother. Though Wooten thinks it's sad, he claimed that at the end of the day, Prince Harry is his own man. I think he has put duty to one side in exchange for cash. And it's not something that I will personally celebrate, Wooten said. Especially when you look at all of the good work he did with the Invictus Games in the past, he added. So, good or bad, two different sides of the spectrum, what's your opinion on the matter? Leave it down in the comment section, like the video and subscribe to the channel for the latest in royal news. See you tomorrow and goodbye for now.